Hey guys, I'm Sarah from Pretty Providence and I love to do Cricut projects. Um, a lot of people ask me what is the best type of vinyl to use with the Cricut machine? Is there a brand that's the best? Do I need to use the Cricut brand specifically or can I try something else? So today's video is all about the different types of vinyl and I'm actually going to test some Cricut brand vinyl against some other brands. I have Tech Wrap, Caesar, I think that's how you say it, the Paper Studio, and Oracal 651, which I believe is this is one of the more popular competing brands to Cricut. So I'm going to test all of these, and I have these little plastic tumblers. I'm going to use the same surface for all of them, and we're going to see how they stack up. One question I get asked a lot is, what is the difference between all these types of vinyl? Like, you're in the craft store, right? And you're looking and you don't know what you're supposed to buy for which project. Okay, so I'm gonna help you. There's really two types of vinyl. One is heat transfer vinyl or iron-on vinyl. For Cricut, it's gonna have this purple label on it if it's that type. But today, this video is all about adhesive vinyl, which is the kind that's like a sticker. Okay, this is permanent vinyl and this is removable vinyl cut and weed basically the same, but this one will last. It's waterproof, UV proof, and just generally lasts a lot longer. To show you how permanent this is, I made this water bottle label probably six years ago when my daughter was in preschool. Now she's in third grade and it is still on there and it has been through the dishwasher a thousand times. I'm also sharing my other daughter's water bottle that I think I made that about a year ago and it's still like in perfect condition. We wash this all the time and this stuff just stays. The removable one, when you peel it off, it leaves no residue whatsoever. And it's, so it's really nice if you wanna put it on something temporarily, like if you're doing something for a party, or if you wanna put it on your window or your car windows or something like that, this uh, removable vinyl is where it's at. I also use it for wall decor. We've done wall decals with it before, and it makes a really good faux wallpaper, and it will not ruin your walls, it will not ruin your paint. Another type of vinyl is smart vinyl. Now, smart vinyl comes in both permanent and removable. The difference between the smart vinyl and the premium vinyl is that you don't have to use a mat with this, okay? So it is three feet long and you can just feed the smart vinyl straight through the machine without a mat. These two types of vinyl, you're gonna put them on to a mat and feed it through the Cricut machine. So, let's get started. I'm super excited to test these out and make some really cute tumblers for my kitchen. Okay, Oracal is up first. This is the permanent 651 Oracal vinyl. It cuts really nicely with the Cricut machine. It, it was pretty easy to weed. Um, I realized I chose some pretty intricate designs, <laughs> so these were all a little bit hard to weed, but as far as comparing it to the other brands, this weeded pretty easily and it looked really nice when I was done and it transferred really nicely over to the plastic cup. The Caesar Easy PSV. I wish that they had a more clear label of what type of vinyl it is. It also cut really nicely. Uh, I gave, this one had an unfair advantage because I chose just stripes <laughs> instead of something intricate. So this was very easy to weed. I think I'm going to test this again with more intricate design just so that I can actually compare it. Now we have Tech Wrap. This is actually the first time I have ever used this type of vinyl. This is a permanent one, but it cut beautifully. It was pretty easy to weed. Again, this one had a less difficult design in general to weed, so I may need to try a more kind of intricate design for that one as well. But it was really nice. I like it. 405. When this came out of the machine, I just took it off the mat and was like immediately no. This it was all bent the stars. It was just a basic design. Like this should have been easy to weed and I know had it been Cricut it would have been easy, but it was not easy to weed. It was a pain. I did not like it. Oracal removable vinyl. 
already it is not seeming easier to weed. <laughs> Uh, partially because all the pieces are kind of already coming off. There's some on my hand. I taped it to my bright pad. And I'm gonna save the little pieces that fall off and maybe I can put them back in a little bit. Let's see what happens if I try to peel the big part off. It is taking up some of the parts I don't want though. But it is peeling very easily. I just wish that the parts that I want to stay would stay without me having to hold them down. Sometimes when things are being stubborn, I like to just use scissors to cut off part of what I've already pulled off so that it doesn't mess up the stuff that I'm trying to keep on. So I'm gonna have to use that technique. I think it's fine for a very simple design, but I do not recommend it for a more intricate design such as the one I chose today. This was a mess, and actually I looked at my clock and I spent a full hour weeding this small section. <laughs> so um, I don't know how that would compare. I'm going to cut this design in a couple of the other vinyls because I do want to know how long it would take me to weed it in the other ones. The final cup though, I think it looks pretty cute. Okay, the Cricut Permanent Vinyl, the one I was so excited to show you. Unfortunately, while I was weeding, my phone died and that's what I was filming with. So I don't have a video of the entire weeding process, but it took me about 40 minutes to weed this one. This is also a very intricate design with a lot of tiny pieces, which is why it took so long. Um, it was pretty easy to weed other than just like the tiny pieces. Um, the bigger pieces were fine. It wasn't an issue. It was easy to work with and I love the cup that I made with this one. Here are the final shots of all the cups. I love all of them. They're also cute. Some of these are removable vinyl, so they're not going to last forever. So I might have to redo some of them with some permanent vinyl. But all in all, I love the project and this was really fun testing out all of the vinyls. If you found this video to be helpful, please like our video and subscribe to our channel.